so uh, now uh, some customization in design okay so uh, suppose uh, now we can see the only uh, one color a blue okay the all all birds are shown in blue color so now we, we know that if we if we want to give a uh, multiple color for multiple category then we need to actually uh, place the category in the colors okay so i'm placing it here so now i can see here the whole furniture is blue office supplies is orange and technology is red so now now what now actually i don't want this color okay furniture for furniture i don't want this blue okay it should be like uh, violet so it can be changed also we have we can we can what i have done we just we double click on the color and now i have the option lot of options that i can i can choose my color so i am selecting this color okay and i i am changing this color uh, here suppose uh, yellow so it has been changed and now i want to change this color to green so now it has been changed and i'm applying it nice it has been applied so now i can change this color uh, like that also i have change uh, i have option to change uh, like i it is automatic here the color palette is already is uh, defined in tab view so it is there suppose tab view 10 so assign palette assign palette means the, the colors will automatically uh, be applied to the uh, look here it, it, it is automatically applied now we are summer okay uh, same palette here yeah. also i have suppose select here and just click on the color so sorry select here and click on the color so color will be changed click select here and color and now the red is not actually i don't like here also and so i i am selecting different color palette and selecting this color on, uh, so it has been changed so what are, there are a lot of technique that uh, lot of uh, color lot of uh, palettes are available in the uh, color palette so that you can change your color accordingly so now i'm uh, applying it so now it is just like so this is uh, how about i can change my other colors also I have the option to change like uh, level look look here i'm clicking on the levels okay uh, in the mark self i am uh, click the level and I click the uh, show mark levels so now the chart is showing the levels okay what is the profit per particular the profit is showing okay top of the bar so now I want to change this uh, location okay what I will do I will just uh, actually uh, automatic yeah so it has been changed the location I can change okay it is it, it is like alignment okay the first time it was in uh, top uh, now it is in middle okay so suppose i i'm i want to change it in like all right say or did not affect because it is just same for because the place is so so whatever you you have a lot of options that you can change your actually the design okay so this is now how about i can change I also have the option to actually font okay so it can be 14 okay so uh, here the anything you can do with the level also you have suppose uh, you want to change you actually don't want the, to show the profit okay you want to show the sales in that case what you can do suppose uh, in that case you just drag the sales in the level okay so what is what is now now the the part okay the, the tablet is showing the sales okay not the profit so you can change the level also by dragging the field okay now you want to see uh, sorry you want to show the uh, sales and profit both so what you do, i will actually uh, sorry 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 you just drag the profit here in the level and go to the level and you can make it suppose uh, okay so what you can do you can do this thing so now yeah you can see the sales and profit both and now you want to show 
the cells in uh, blue okay and in both okay it's like it, it, it will be i'm not a good designer okay i'm not a good designer i just uh, it, it is a example it will change if you master in design so i i know so change yourself uh, change your uh, color and design okay according to your uh, own choice so it is just example i am showing you so you can uh, this, this this these are the things that you can do with your uh, level okay now uh, suppose uh, if, if i am hovering with the mouse then mouse is giving my, me the details it is uh, actually the term is called by the tooltip okay so, uh, so you can change also the tooltip uh, suppose you you actually want to show mul uh, so many uh, information so you can drag this information tooltip and just click on the tooltip oh uh, <laughs> automatically it is uh, actually uh loaded and whenever you will uh go for the tooltip then it is the star means star means the uh, multiple values so I, I don't want it because you can uh, one category id with a multiple or id is available and it is a uh, actually dimension field so it is not getting uh added i mean some uh, summation and uh calculate okay so it is showing uh, like the star so so okay uh, so here also you, you just click on the tooltip okay uh click on the category make it bold profit make it bold uh, sales make it bold and uh, click here color this color do like blue and and do like uh, this is nice so now uh, what I'm, I'm doing uh, so here uh, one thing is available like you can insert okay lot of uh, functionality that page count page name page number okay these are these are the default values uh, you can you, you can you can insert the same i am okay I'm for the for example i am actually uh, dragging the page count and i'm dragging the category okay so category and now it is uh, okay so i'm dragging it like black um, um so it is just example that i can I, i'm showing you the design that you, you can actually you have the option to customize your design so that is why i'm showing you nothing uh, you, you don't uh, actually copy my uh, the design policy it is very bad so uh, this is what I can do. Okay. So uh, it is. I'm just customizing my design. Uh, you also have the option to actually hide. It is it, this part is called by the uh, show header. So you have the option to like edit axis. Okay. Uh, it, it it is axis now. So I I have the option to change the edit axis. So I'm clicking. Okay. Here it is. Uh, include zero. I don't want to include zero. So look here. The zero is uh, now hard. Aiden. so now if we include zero okay uh, automatic i want i don't want to give the value profit okay i uh, had look at the uh, if the profit is not showing it now so, okay and these are uh, tick marks okay so none i don't want to tick marks i it, it takes it is automatic so everything i can do with the uh, axis i also have the option to uh, change the font uh, so nothing else i have to click on the format okay right click on the axis and just click on the format okay uh, you can change the number format number format you can change uh, suppose custom custom means you want to add uh, suppose to, uh, so the oh, sorry uh, it is not uh, sorry <laughs> format of this of this mm, default and default total format so okay sometimes it is not working okay uh oh sorry axis axis is showing the numbers 
percentage okay so you can change the format okay so from here you can change the format okay you need to go to the access pane uh, access 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 tab and click on the and you can change that i mean uh, this part so everything you can change okay so this is the, the this is the way that you can design your uh, chart okay <laughs> it is looking very 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 bad but uh, i'm showing you how we can change the colors font everything okay so there are a lot of things that i need to show you uh, in tableau okay and i promise you that you will be master in tableau okay so please stay with us uh stay with, with our video okay so thank you